Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolk. And today, I got 10 facts for you about the 2005 Chicago White Sox, the 2005 world champion, Chicago White Sox. So, uh, without uh, much more ado, let's get into it. Fact number one. The White Sox of 2005 had a 99 and 63 record. 99 wins, so you know they didn't go on many losing streaks. They were pretty, uh, pretty even keel throughout the season. Uh, fact number two: In the first half of the season, they were 57 and 29, and in the second half, they were 42 and 34. Fact number three. Their record against some of their rival teams were that they were three and three against the Cubs. They were 14 and five against Cleveland. They were 14 and five against Detroit, and they were 11 and seven against the Minnesota Twins. Fact number four: They had two seven-game winning streaks. One of those was from April 18th. To April 25th and the other was from April 30th to May 8th so they only took five days off and then went on the second seven game winning streak and they had one eight game winning streak which was from June 15th to June 24th so again going back to being even keel they weren't like the you know Oakland A's of uh like 2012, I think it was, where they like reeled off 20 straight wins. Fact number five, their best month was June of 2005, in which they went 18 and seven. And their worst month was August, where they were only 12 and 16. Uh, again, for a worst month, 12 and 16 is not bad. So it goes back to them being a pretty even keeled team throughout the throughout the season, even good and even keel. Uh, fact number six, they had a very good pitching staff. Say what? Their team ERA was 3.61, and they had a 125 ERA plus, which uh, basically means that they were 25% better than um, the average pitching staff for that season. Uh, Dustin Hermanson led the team with 34 saves. Mark Burley was 16 and 8 with a 3.12 earned run average. Freddie Garcia was 14 and 8 with a 3.87 earned run average. John Garland was 18 and 10 with a 3.50 earned run average. And Jose Contreras was 15 and 7 with a 3.61 earned run average on the season. So, that brings us to fact number seven. Something completely different. Fact number seven is that, uh, and it's an interesting fact, while everybody was going out and trading at the trade deadline for great players to bolster their teams, the White Sox only went out and got Jeff Blum. Utility infielder Jeff Blum. And Jeff Blum only hit uh, 200 for the White Sox and 95 at bats for the rest of the season in 31 games. But he was one for one with a home run in the World Series against the Houston Astros, a team for which he had played in 2002 and 2003, previous to 2005. And he was also 0 for 1 in the ALDS versus Boston. So that brings us to fact number eight. And fact number eight is that the White Sox were 47 and 34 at home, and they were 52 and 29 on the road. Um, fact number nine is that they had a good offense, as you might well imagine. They hit 262 as a team with a 322 on base per, uh, uh, percentage. 
They had 200 home runs and they scored 741 runs, which is an average of 4.57 runs per game. Uh, some of their better hitters were Jermaine Dye, who hit 274 with 31 home runs in 86 RBIs. Paul Canerco hit 283 with 40 bombs and 100 RBIs. And Joe Creedy hit 252 with 22 homers and 62 RBIs. So that brings us to fact number 10. And fact number 10 is that their coaching staff consisted of Ozzie Smith as the manager. The bench coach was Harold Baines. The hitting coach was Greg Walker. The pitching coach was Don Cooper. The bullpen coach was Art Kustner. Third base coach was Joey Cora. And the first base coach was Tim Raines, kind of a who's who of the Chicago White Sox playing day. So, uh, well, some of those guys are, anyway. So, um, that's my, that's what I got for you. My 10 facts about the 2005 Chicago White Sox. What interesting facts did you think I left out? Um, what would you have put on there? Um, what are some of your memories about the Chicago White Sox? Love to know. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.